nice having you here thank you for stopping by in this video we'll be making quick and easy okra soup let's get cooking first let's prep our ingredients it's always better to prep your ingredients beforehand it makes the cooking a lot easier the shape i'll be using today i'll cut it in the middle you can now use your shopping board to dice it It's easier and faster for me using my hand for this shape of okra than the shopping board but if you're not able to you can use your shopping board so we we'll have to do this for all the okra till I'm through with all of them next I cut the ogo leaves, the pumpkin leaves. Please note that I've washed this and I've washed the okra also before slicing it. I like washing my vegetables before slicing it so that I retain all the nutrients in them. I don't have to cut and wash, thereby washing away the health benefits. We all know how nutritional green leafy vegetables are to our health. I'll cut this as tiny as possible. Through with cutting the veggies. Here I have the paprika peppers, the shambo. This will give it that stew like color. I break it into my blender. I also have the peppers, the normal peppers, the onions, so I'll blend this roughly without water because I want to be seeing the rough textures of the peppers in the soup. This is how the texture is. To the okra soup proper, in a dry pot on heat, I add in palm oil. So I'll allow it to heat up without bleaching the oil. I add in the chopped peppers and onions. I'll have to fry this on medium low heat for five minutes. Please keep an eye on it so that it doesn't burn. As you see the oil sizzling on top, that's to tell you that it's fried well enough. I add in two seasoning cubes. I break it in. No one wants to be chewing on your seasoning cubes. I add in a little salt. I always say that your seasoning and your salt should be proportional to the quantity of food you're cooking. If you're not sure, you add in little per time and adjust as you cook along. I'll add in a little water. I'll give this a stir to mix properly with the water. I'll add in the fish at this time. Here I have mackerel and the horse mackerel. In our Nigerian parlance, they are both called Titus fish and Kote. I don't want this fish to break at all so I'll cook it separately and take it off I'll cover and cook this for five minutes on medium heat this is five minutes later 
Within the five minutes, I turn the fish to the other side to cook properly. So they are well cooked now and they've absorbed all the seasoning and the salt and I'll take it off from the pots because I don't want them to be scattered. So I'll set the fish aside. Now I add in the okra. And I also add in the ogo leaves, the pumpkin leaves. I'll be adding both together because they have the same cooking time. I don't want to overcook the okra. And I'll stir in. I'll mix this in to combine well. This soup is so delicious, it's so healthy. Having stirred this properly, I will leave it for a minute or two on heat without covering the pot because I don't want to overcook the vegetables. This is a minute later. I'll give this a stir. The okra and the pumpkin leaves all very crunchy. Now I add on the fish. Wow, look at this. Gently again, I mix the okra with the fish. I don't want the fish broken. I want to serve it whole. The fish has been well cooked before, if you remember. So I'll just stir this and I'll take it off from the heat. If you've watched till this point, please like this video. Please also subscribe to my channel if you've not done that. You will get exciting recipes and easy recipes from me. Please also share this video. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.